Ladies and gentlemen, here at the DOIS, we appreciate those individuals who make constant efforts to serve the DevOps community and bring them together to share their experiences and stories. Our next winner is one such individual. I'm delighted to welcome to your screens the winner of the Best Community Nonprofit Initiative Award, the founder of the DevOps Community of Practice Canada, the one and only Ms. Garima Bajpai. Over to you, Garima. Hello, everyone. I'm Garima Bajpai. I'm the founder for the DevOps Community of Practice uh, here in Ottawa. It has three chapters, Ottawa, Toronto, and Edmonton. I'm also the co-organizer for the DevOps Summit, which happens in Canada, chief ambassador for the Continuous Delivery Foundation and ambassador with DevOps Institute. I'm overwhelmed uh, to get to know that we have won an award. Thank you, DevOps India Summit, for uh, actually uh, getting us through to this award and to a point where we are getting recognized as a community. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our com contributors. So community counts. That's what uh, my message mm -hmm. to all the DevOps communities would be at this point in time. So what I would like to talk about is what we do as part of the DevOps community. So this community, we created this community with a vision that it is a platform for evolving the DevOps practices. When we actually started this community uh, three years back, uh, we were seeing a strategic gap in how the DevOps uh, practices were evolving. There was a lot of potential to assess the software methodologies, tools, and trends, which were kind of, you know, getting into the mainstream. And we started to initiate conversations with the community to assess the DevOps software methodologies, tools, and trends. We also have uh, want to contribute, and I think this is one of our key, I would say, value propositions that we want to make software engineering simple, collaborative, and uh, valuable at every step. And lastly, develop skill sets for future digital world. Now, uh, this is something which actually helps us to understand that there's a large potential how we can contribute as a community. So what we started steering is that uh, how this community would function. We have put together a public roadmap for the community. And that is what differentiates us uh, from uh, all the other communities because we kind of you know uh, wanted to structure this conversation around uh, the DevOps community of practice, how we ensure not only we have structured conversations, but also governance around it. So uh, this public roadmap is uh, available uh, to all the community members. First half, we have spent a lot of uh, time in, uh, you know, difficult topics, diff difficult conversations and emerging tools and techniques around DevOps to data ops, gamification, lean practices, open source technologies, which are uh, advancing DevOps infrastructure, what it means uh, and how DevOps is uh, ensuring that we have a progressive delivery, as well as uh, we had some conversations around platforms which are in making low code, no code. In the second half, we would like to advance um, some of the advanced thinking around DevOps, that's chaos engineering, enterprise DevOps platforms, AI-driven dev DevOps, and DevOps Summit uh, 2021, which is uh, happening in November 8th and 9th. Also, our DevOps roadmap for 2022. We would steer this conversation from a community perspective. As I said, that uh, public roadmap for the community is really important. Just because it helps to steer the conversation in one way. Prepare what's uh, coming next. Build the dialogue with the extended community. Same information is available for all. Uh, consolidate everything as we do in one way. And also we ensure that uh, we produce uh, more artifacts which are trustworthy. And we also are able to invite contributors.
So now I would like to introduce a few of our community supporters, contributors, and I'm really glad to see that so many people have joined us today to celebrate this moment of success. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, begin with uh, some of these uh, things which are which we are sharing, and how do we do it? Crowdsourcing has been uh, a great vehicle for mm -hmm. us, and I would hand over this uh, forum to Sri Ram to talk about crowdsourcing. Thank you, Karima. First of all, thanks for giving me this opportunity to explain about some of the activities that we do as part of our community. And one such is the crowdsourcing, uh, right? which perhaps is you know, one of the uniqueness of our community, community is what I would say. So typically what we do here is based upon the monthly themes that we conduct, we invite our participants to join us to share their thoughts. As a DevOps and SI practitioner myself, I would start with on any conversation on DevOps, I would say that you know DevOps means different, different for different people, right? Or uh, different things. So it depends upon the culture of the organization, it uh, depends upon the environment that they work for, the technology that in which they are working, the problem that they are trying to solve. So it is important to attract different views from different uh, people, right, on the topics that we uh, uh, circled on, and more importantly, documented, uh, right? So that is one of the unique things that we do. Or the it, the code chat, what we do is, you know, we typically identify five or six key areas that we can uh, discuss with various participants, uh, right, in the form of questions, and we uh, get their views. Uh, we take it more in the conversation mode rather than a question and answer, so that you know we get to hear thoughts from multiple people, put them into different dimensions. But ultimately, when we document it as a white paper, what it actually does is all the energies that, you know, the and thoughts that comes from different people are channelized into one single paper that is kind of forward looking, right? Industry practitioners can uh, come back and refer to those white papers to understand what they want to do, or what, how other, uh, other organizations are doing in this, you know, for, uh, in those areas. For example, let's take, right? Uh, we had this DevOps data of in the start of this year, which is a kind of, you know, forward looking topic is what I would say, because their data of spaces uh, not still nascent in the industry. Probably, right, in all probability, we would be one of the first community to you know, have data of as a topic in the so early stages, right, where we were able to bring in a lot of people, uh, their thoughts, and you know, to document it onto the white paper and publish it, right, uh, which has already garnered a lot of views in social media, right. Uh, so in that way, what, uh, what we are able to do is not only just, you know, discuss about it, but as I said, channelize and, you know, publish it so that uh, it can be you know, uh, guidance for uh, practitioners to uh, adopt it to their day-to-day -day work. So that's the kind of you know, thing uh, that we get gather in terms of uh, outsourcing. And it just goes from you know, one place uh, the next year every time we do it. Right? Uh, and the other important aspect that we also do is publishing the white paper. Uh, it is just not the summit that we conduct. So the summit is not you know, just inviting speakers coming and uh, they shine their thoughts. But what is that we give back to the community? Right? How do we ensure that you know any time uh, the uh, participant or you know a, a person uh, in DevOps community wants, how can you know they can go and refer it to it? Uh, right? It is all documented in the form of white papers and you know the outsourcing books, which is a kind of unique thing for us. And I would start of that, uh, Gaima. Again, thanks for giving me this opportunity to explain about uh, the crowdsourcing events that we do month on month. Yeah, thank you, Sri Ram. And Sri Ram has been an integral part of the DevOps community here. And we uh, invite all the contributors, if you're interested to see how crowdsourcing can become one of the vehicles and channels, please join us and contribute uh, and see uh, how we can advance uh, emerging technologies with DevOps. Now, I would like to talk about uh, our podcast. And uh, we were fortunate to have two leaders from the DevOps community, Antra as well as Mitesh, who has joined us for this initiative. So Antra, why don't you start up uh, with, uh, you know, giving us some uh, highlights of what this podcast is all about, how we initiated, what was your journey, or, you know, uh, and uh, um, also talk about, you know, what uh, the listeners can tune in uh, in the upcoming episodes. Sure, Garima, and thanks for giving me that op opportunity to speak as well. So uh, my journey so far with this community of practice has been very thrilling and quite fulfilling. And I must say, when I embarked on this and I was being asked to, if I can uh, actually 
plan and start a series on podcast very first of its kind it was i, I was very excited because uh, this gave me a sense of ownership and uh, I, 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 and what next i just started working on it we had a couple of brainstorming sessions first to set up the title of the podcast and i did quite a bit of research on uh, you know the culture of canada or what the people like and how we can get that buy in and uh, get that outreach to the larger community so what just shri shrira mentioned you know how the industrial uh, practitioners can come back and refer to the white papers so uh, white papers and book reviews and how to reach out to that community uh, through a better you know collaboration and getting basically engaging them so uh, so we were thinking of the title and the, uh, finally i uh, i came up with a levy cast so i think most of the people from canada would would relate the term to the new year's levy that we refer to that is hosted by the uh, governor general of canada and uh, and i i think uh, garima gave a thumbs up to it and the entire uh, organization committee agreed upon it so that was again it it gave me a lot of uh, sense of belonging so uh, that was great and then we had the planning we the idea was to pick up and formulate the episodes with the white paper reviews followed by the book reviews and um, we could actually launch couple of book reviews uh, the first was the phoenix project with mitesh soni and i will hand it over to him in a moment to talk a bit more about on those and uh, followed by the white paper review with santanu bhattacharya on no ops um, and uh, to our surprise we reached a record of 100 uh, downloads within a week which was quite an achievement for i think all of us so um, uh, that was uh, that was again a, a very very good thing that uh, we all we all were like uh, quite interested to work and uh, take this journey forward and uh, finally uh, we also last last week we had a launch on agile conversations which i think spoke a lot and the audience can take back a lot into their personal lives as well how effective conversations work and mitesh will again talk about it and uh, we have lined up a couple of more we have a white paper review on automation on ai and uh, another book review which is uh, planned next so i'll hand it over to mitesh to talk more on those book reviews that we have done together thanks thanks karin Thanks, Antaraj. Uh, I welcome you uh, to this conversation now. Vitesh has been writing a um, lot of books. Uh, he is uh, one of the integral parts of this uh, community of practice here in Canada. He has helped us craft the podcast, uh, the book review series, and he has been actively working in this uh, space. So, Vitesh, uh, could you help us understand what the listeners should? look forward for this from this book review series and how did all, it all got started so it was it was a funny discussion between garima and i regarding book reviews and i was i was telling her that i i am a lazy reader i don't like to read and she was and then after that she came with the idea that let's have a book review and i was like okay but this will need a reading from my side and i am a lazy reader but you know as you say books give you lot of perspectives which you usually don't have and i have got those from both the books the phoenix project and the agile conversations i never thought the life the way bef- uh, life before i read the book i used to have lot of conversations with people but i never understood how how the agile conversation book have has compartmentalized those conversations and make make life much easier so book reviews help me also as an person to improve myself and sometimes it it helps you to have a different perspective from different views even in personal and professional life as anta said and it's it provides greater visibility for book itself for authors itself it's kind of appreciation to authors i myself uh, have authored books so i know importance of reviews when some bad reviews are there how it feels and when there are good reviews how it feels and it it creates it give it gives more ideas to readers about whether the book is having content that suits their interest or not we want to make 
it make uh, make it as more as appreciation kind of things when we read the book and provide reviews of, about what exactly the book is having on very abstract level and personally i don't think my as a, myself as a critic we review the book and share our learnings from the book and from authors and it has helped us immensely immensely at least antra and myself both we have we have had lot of conversations and we try to map it with life also so it help it helped us as a professionally and personally and we want to have lot of feedback from you guys also all the all the listeners and even the authors and readers how do you feel about what we have done so if you can give your feedback to our podcast then probably we will try to improve also it it's all as they say it in devops that it is all about improvements continuous improvements it's all about culture transformation so culture transformation plus continuous improvement so yeah that's what i feel about podcast and happy happy about it thank you mitesh and this was really overwhelming i think if you are an author you could relate that how uh, important are reviews so in case you are writing a book or you want us to review a book through our podcast we would be really happy to kind of uh, ensure that we get this uh, going through the podcast series book review with mitesh soni so let's uh, also talk about uh, one different aspect around the community which is gamification and uh, our star performer here is steve zeng unfortunately he couldn't join us today but i see william you are on the call in case you want to add something please do that while we are taking this conversation so gamification is one aspect which i thought that is very important when we talk about devops just because our learning is a difficult uh, thing and when you think about you know uh, the middle management senior management i think we have our own biases in one way or the other gamification has at least uh, led me to understand that if we um, make these um, uh, learning sessions and initiatives uh, challenging fun as well as uh, you know you pilot games which are simple it creates a different perspective we have uh, piloted a lot of games in this community of practice which is related to devops our um, most uh, acknowledged game is the product uh, design box game where we build product boxes for devops sre observability and all those kind of you know uh, difficult uh, topics we also have piloted a few other games like lead time as well as um, data driven decision making if william if you want uh, to add something here from a gamification perspective i would like to invite you if you have a possibility to uh, you know open up your mic and say a few words about our games and how it has helped the community to build uh, you know new learnings i see that he has joined in but uh, maybe we'll come back to him but again if you have not seen our games uh, this is one area where we can have fun and challenge each other now we uh, would also like to talk about the ecosystem and collaboration we have a few people here uh, who have been actively working and engaging with the community i would like to give the forum to james uh, james has been uh, you know looking at the ecosystem and also building some relationships and advancing some new ideas of convergence with emerging technologies so james uh, could you talk about your journey as well as you know what you're doing with devops community of practice so yeah thanks uh, garima for giving me this opportunity to be part of this uh, community yeah uh, my name is james saldana i've been in the partnership world for almost two decades and uh, i joined the devops community uh, almost at the start of this year because i'm a firm believer that humans uh, by nature coexist now you know we probably heard of things like it takes two to tango and it takes communities to build a tribe uh, but what i like the most is you can only be successful as much as the people around you and we well know that the devops community has got an overwhelming task because they are one of the key catalyst uh, in the client's transformative journey you know it only started with development then they moved into operations and now we hear things like data ops dev sec ops ml ops so they have to be keeping on refreshing their skills grooming their skills and that's what we have created we have created an ecosystem to help this community of practitioners 
to groom their skills, not only to take care of the now, but what is the future requirement, whether it's soft skills in terms of data storytelling, leadership skill development. And that's the ecosystem that we, we're building uh, with them. We don't be for them to be sitting on a table at one point of time and saying, who moved my cheese? At the end of the day, they need to keep on grooming their skills. And that's what we bring on the table. And as we approach the, the summit in November, uh, we've got some great uh, speakers that are coming around these different uh, areas that could be on technology like blockchain. We've got things around data storytelling. We're looking at something around venture capitalism. We're, we're looking at things around maybe leadership sco- uh, skill development. So that's the ecosystem that we are building. And if there is anybody else who wants to participate and contribute to this, we are always welcome uh, to to share the platform with them. And I now, uh, you know, share invite Bill and Jerry to share their experience of being part of this ecosystem. Thank you, James, and thank you for an insightful, you know, journey around DevOps, DevOps community of practice, and why this community is important. Uh, it is the focal point of all the ops mesh, which is building up for the next generation technologies and tools. So again, I would like to give this forum, as James mentioned, to Bill and Jerry. Bill and Jerry are like seasoned uh, professionals uh, in their areas, and they have been steering next generation technology landscape for uh, Canada. So I would like to kind of understand from Bill and Jerry how uh, we were we were able to converge and collaborate with your initiatives and how do you feel about the journey you have taken with us thanks sure. very much Hope Bill, you want to start i guess so thanks very much prima you know it's been a couple of years since we've been working with you in the uh, community of interest uh, the devops community we are you know we've through the last couple of years, we've been able to identify a lot of the tried and true tested approaches to bringing these products to market and how they fit into the ecosystem of our customer base. So, you know, working with the working groups, we've been able to, uh, and our focus it, for the most part is on the DevSecOps side. You know, security is very important to us. So we've been focusing on working with different pieces of the puzzle that solve security issues that exist with, you know, in the DevSecOps world. So we've, uh, through the group and uh, what we've learned with the group, we've been able to identify some of the best products that exist on the planet to solve, you know, security issues that exist. Very cool. I'd like to add to that. We work mostly with the uh, federal Canadian government and uh, they, they're having a struggle right now uh, transitioning over to uh, uh, DevOps and uh, the group really helps us understand the, the problems and actually uh, some very good use cases on on how people are dealing with uh, issues and problems and troubles. So it's been uh, very helpful for us to actually uh, relay back to our client base uh, good solutions. And we're constantly looking for uh, the next generation type of um, solution. So it's been a good uh, collaboration, I would say. So thank you, uh, Garima, for. Uh, bringing us into this. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, it is so overwhelming to see that so many people are coming together today to celebrate this moment for the DevOps community of practice uh, in Canada. I would like to thank all our contributors, all our influencers, leaders who have helped us craft this community. And in case uh, in our audience, if you have an idea, if you are looking for product validation, if you are looking for managed crowdsourcing initiatives, this community can be a starting point for you. And I would like to actually, again, thank you all for being here and listening to us. If you have any feedback or ideas which we should introduce as part of our community initiatives, or if you want to drive anything which, uh, you know, steers interest in the community, do let us know, do touch base uh, with us and our community, and we will take it forward from there. So again, I would like to thank the DevOps India Summit for actually nominating us as well as uh, selecting us as one of the communities uh, who will be awarded this year. So Thank you and stay tuned for the DevOps India Summit. Uh, There's a lot of sessions uh, ongoing and I hope that uh, we can meet you all at the DevOps Summit Canada, which happens November 8th and 9th. Thank you.
And we all say bye from here at the DevOps Canada Community of Practice. Bye-bye. Thank you, Grim. Bye-bye.